Hi, I'm Sean Dye. Today we are going to do some pastel pencil sketches. I have a General's uh, 24 set of pastel pencils here. And the surface that I'm going to use is a piece of UART uh, 600 grit paper. So I have a little uh, reference here, the, uh, a photograph I took on Lake Champlain uh, in Vermont near my home. And over here I have a, uh, a study that I did in pastel pencil at my house of some fruit and some flowers on a piece of gray pastel paper. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sketch out uh, my composition using a couple of uh, darker blue colors. So I'm going to give myself my horizon line first. One of the things you'll find with a, a sanded pastel paper is that it's abrasive and it will wear down your tip a little bit faster than a regular paper. So you may have to sharpen more often than you are used to. So um, Lake Champlain is, uh, is a really special place for me. It's where I spend my summers with my kids and we go swimming and boating. I'm going to come in with some green here and put that point in. Now the color of the paper is a sort of buff yellow color and it's a nice color to let shine through so I'm not going to feel like I have to cover all of it. So I've got this rocky shoreline coming forward. I'll get that sketched in. Got some nice little fluffy clouds back there. And I'll very lightly indicate those. Now I'm going to take, I have two light blue colors here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, some sky up here and a little bit of that reflecting uh, sky color below. You can probably hear the grittiness of the paper as I scratch across it with this pencil. go with a slightly darker pencil. The top of my sky is quite dark there, so what I'm going to do is uh, work my way up and get a little darker as I move up to the top there. Got a little ridge of land in the middle here. So we'll do the darkest pencil for that. And that is uh, New York State looking across the lake from Vermont. We'll take that dark blue and continue in here. Okay, now I've got some rocks. I can put in some, grab some neutral uh, brownish colors, some grays, and then I have a, a sort of a reddish color here. So you can change the direction of your strokes a little bit as you're working to sort of describe the different objects and shapes. Go back to my, uh, my dark blue here. 
put some of these textured shadows in. I'm going to put the very bottom of the sky in here with the dark blue and the light blue together. And put some clouds. What I'll do is I'll take my white and I'll just sort of blend into this dark blue at the bottom here and soften that up a little bit. I've got some clouds reflecting in the water. So this is a very portable thing. You could bring this on location if you wanted to do some outdoor studies. Go back to my green for a second here. And we will finish a little bit of this hillside here. A little foliage for our trees. And some two lighter greens to get the brighter colors. Some little grasses that are growing along the edge of the, uh, the shore here. And then we'll just finish it off by taking a little bit of the light blue and we're going to smooth out the water. Now with these uh, studies, if you're on location and you just want to capture your, um, your view, you can work very quickly on a nice small piece of paper here. And you can take this back to the studio and develop that into a finished painting. Thanks again, I'm Sean Dye. You can learn more about my paintings at seandystudio.com and you can see more free art lessons at jerrysartorama.com.